What is going on my super sandwiches? Ramps are here and today I'm joined by Emperor Big D aka Geekdom 101 and today we're going to be discussing something interesting that he actually discovered in his past couple of days in regards to Dragon Ball Super and the writing credit of how actually involved Toriyama is. Now before we start, we're not saying that Dragon Ball Super is not canon, like hear us out first, uh, but in terms of how Dragon Ball Super is being written, it's slightly different than what you guys might think. So at this point, you probably you guys you, you guys probably realize that the manga and the anime appear slightly different. And that's because the manga is an adaptation done by Toriyama, while uh, the anime is done more by Toriyama and his team. Well, it turns out it's actually been slightly produced a little bit different than you might think. And Toriyama is involved, but not as involved as you guys think. Like he's not sitting there drawing up by himself and writing a story word for word. He is doing a lot of it, but he's not doing a word for word. And I have Emperor Big D who's actually going to uh, explain to you how Toriyama actually does it. So you want to go ahead and take it over and let people know how the production cycle for Dragon Ball Super works? Yes, yeah, and thank you for having me on, by the way. I do appreciate it very much. No problem. Uh, no thanks. And um, so a lot of people were under the impression that Toriyama was actually scripting um, every single line in Super. That we were only three episodes in, and people think that he's he was the one who's kind of doing everything hands on, and that's not the case at all. Um, what what's actually happening is Toriyama is credited as being the character designer original of course and he's also doing the what's called the show draft or the original draft what basically happened was this Toriyama submitted a draft to Toei and Toyotaro for what Dragon Ball Super is going to be uh, I call it a manuscript that's the word I'm using and I'm using that word based upon what we have here in North America now I know a lot of people listening to this are fans of like The Walking Dead and Breaking Bad uh, and, and shows like that. Very similar process here. What happens is Toriyama submits to them a manuscript of what he wants with very basic outlines. And the difference, the reason why there's a difference between the manga and the anime is because in the manga and the anime, manga's Toyotaro, the anime is being run by the quote unquote series director and his name is Kimitoshi Chioka. Now, series director in Japan, in our country, is called a showrunner. Same thing. And every episode has a different writer. So, like, episode one was Yoshifumi Fukushima. Episode two was King Ryu. Episode three was Yoshitaka Toshio. So, every, so what happens is Chioka gets the manuscript. He figures out with his crew how it's going to be cut up into episodes. And then he assigns a writer. Toriyama, there's no way Toriyama could write every single line, every single thing in Super. He can't even design all the characters. That's what Yamamuro's there for. He does the background characters, you know, the side characters. Obviously, the big ones are Toriyama. And then these guys take it and they adapt it into the anime. Um, real quick, the difference between Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball is that with Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, the manuscript was the manga. But there's no manga. There, there is no Toriyama manga. So this mm -hmm. is why the Toyotaro manga has Beerus blowing up the planet because it's uh, poison, whereas in the anime it was it's too salty. Because to in Toriyama's manuscript, he basically wrote, Beerus gets upset at feast, blows up planet. But he didn't say why. And you could, it's very interesting when you see Chioka and... Uh, Toyotaro's differences in interpreting that scene. Same thing with the scene where Goku is at the beginning of the series. He's dreaming about fighting in the rash field. In the manga, you see him thinking about Frieza, Cell, and Boo. In the anime, you don't see that because Toriyama just wrote in the manuscript, um, you know, Goku is in the field, you know, dreaming about fighting. So that's kind of how it works, um, and, and that's kind of the best explanation. So as far as whether or not it's canon, Toriyama... That's yeah, that's the that, that's the big question that's coming on everyone's mind. It's like, does that mean that Dragon Ball Super is not canon? You ruined my leg for Dragon Ball Super. No, that's not what we're saying at all. So the question, the question that's being brought right now, of course, is the canonical question, and this is the definition of canon right here on the screen from Definition.com. And as you can see, it's a collection or list of sacred books accepted as genuine. Uh, the works of a particular author or artists that are recognized as genuine. It's basically, this is recognized by Toriyama as his story. Like, even though he's not writing the script word for word, this is his story that he's creating. Now, the question is, well, does that mean GT is canon because, you know, Toei did it? No. Toei actually worked on GT. Toriyama had nothing to do with it other than the system and character design. So it's basically yeah. like, hey, uh, uh, Toriyama, we wrote the story. What do you think? He's just like, um, sure, thumbs up. But you know what? I don't like the character. Let me change this, this, and that. That's basically what Toriyama did for GT. Whereas Dragon Ball Super, he's writing pretty much the story and the idea of it. But you got to remember, Toriyama's getting old. And the reason why he stopped doing Dragon Ball Z in the first place is because um, he was getting old. And I, you know, for some reason, something sparked his inspiration to make him come back. He gave us Battle Gods. He gave us Resurrection F. And now he's giving us Dragon Ball Super. And, um... He is not going to be as committed as he was with Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. Because, again, with both of those, he had already done the manga, and then they were able to adapt the story off of that. But this time, as uh, Emperor Big D says, there is no 
you know, manga manuscript. It's just a manuscript that he's putting together as kind of like a summary of here's what happens. Now you guys do the rest. So it, it's it. it's definitely canon. <laughs> it's I definitely think, canon. I think so too. You yeah, know what it is, bro? A good comparison, bro, is The Walking Dead. Yes. Robert Kirkland's got the comic. Then there's mm -hmm. the series, which he has his fingerprints on, but he's not directing every episode. He's not writing it because even if Toriyama was 30, nobody can write every script of every um of every show. It's too many yeah. episodes. It's it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, I, now I understand what Togashi took such a long break from finishing Hunter Hunter. Rest in peace, Hunter Hunter. Please come back one day. Uh, that's the reason why he left uh, doing that show. Because even Togashi is old and he can't keep doing Hunter Hunter forever, which is why he took that hiatus for this past year. But so it's a lot of work. But end of the day, this is still Toriyama's story. This is Toriyama's baby, and it's definitely considered canon. So don't get into debate saying, "Oh, is this canon or not?" It's definitely canon. Just GT was not done by Toriyama at all, other than the fact that he assisted with character designs, and that's really it. Um, yeah. What I actually enjoy about the adaptation of the manga and anime is seeing how different they both are. Because I was uh, reading the second chapter the other day and I was like, wow, this happens very differently. And now that the manga is a little bit ahead, it's like around episode 5, I'm curious to know how that's going to happen in the anime. So I, I like comparing both. And, and when I go through the manga and the anime episodes, it's just like you experience the adventure twice as much. So that's what I like about it. Because I love reading mangas and watching the animes of shows that I'm you know enjoying at the time. Yeah, and I thought it was very weird, and we all talked about it, everybody on our channels, about mm -hmm. how the uh, the manga and the anime differ, and that's why, because they both got those notes from, you know, from Toriyama. But then mm -hmm. it gets interesting because a lot of people were like, well, why is Pizza and Caroni there? Why is Gregory there? Um, again, it's 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 hard to really explain that, and that's why I always say never fight over Dragon Ball canon because it's very confusing, and always understand that Toriyama always had help. I mean, even mm -hmm. when he was writing the manga, he had his editors like Yu Kondo and Torishima. Um, you know, the, remember, the original Android villains were supposed to be 19 and 20, and yeah. then Yu Kondo told him, wait a minute, they're, oh, no, I'm sorry, Torishima was like, dude, it's an old guy and a fat guy, change it. And then he became 17 and 18. And then he told Toriyama, well, dude, they're, they're a bunch of kids. And then Toriyama made Cell. So it, it's just funny how people from outside influence the show. So mm -hmm. I don't think anything in Dragon Ball is ever 100% just one person. It's always a team. Uh, why is Gregory in there? Toriyama did design Gregory. Same thing with Grand Kai. There's mm -hmm. a lot of characters Toriyama designed that weren't in the manga. Yeah. But I just ask, found out I just found out that he did design PyCon after all too, which completely kind of blew me away. Because before, I, PyCon was a filler character. He wasn't real. But I never knew that he actually uh, did design PyCon, so that's cool. Yeah, same thing with with, um, with a lot of the movie characters, and same thing with um, uh, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, Grand Kai, all those guys. Yeah, they mm -hmm. were in there. And uh, in the description below, um, I, I know we're sending it to you. The uh, there's an article on Konzenshu about Toriyama's contributions to the anime, but which I just, suggest a lot of people read because you, you'll be blown away how much uh, work he actually put into that people didn't realize. Like he, like I said, uh, like we said, he designed a lot of the movie characters as well. Like. Technically, in a way, you could say Broly's canon, just a story for Broly isn't canon, if that makes sense. It's weird. Yeah, he designed yeah. it, but it's not part of the manga. What I like to do, look, my opinion, is I like to consider it like kind of like this. There's, I think that the original 42 volumes of the manga, that is the main canon, and everything else is kind of secondary mm -hmm. canon. Kind of like how with Ghostbusters, the two movies are canon, but the series, the cartoon kind of fits with the yep. first movie, so that's secondary canon. That's the way I see it. That's my opinion. Don't, don't crucify me for that. <laughs> right? That's just the way I see it. But the point is, let's not fight over canon. Um, cause it's confusing as it is, bro. Yeah. Even the canon's got contrib- Remember, he didn't create Bardock, but he took Bardock from the anime into the manga. Yeah. So, it's weird. Yeah. So, we just wanna let you guys know how this works. And also, now you guys understand why Toriyama tends to forget- Well, quote-unquote, Toriyama tends to forget a lot in the series. It's not that he's forgetting, it's just his work tends to go through a lot of hands. And that's why some stuff might be different in Dragon Ball Super. That's, for example, with Pan right now. Pan isn't introduced yet, but I feel like she's gonna just because People haven't really all thought it through, so there's a reason why a lot of stuff gets forgotten and, you know, placed weird and stuff, so there you go. But I figured, you know, <laughs> this is something that the community would want to know about, so there you go. Um, and for Big D, is there anything else that we should say before we end this? Well, I just have one last thing um, about the difference between GT and Super is that Toriyama is definitely supervising Super. Um, I Just one last thing I wanted to say is that uh, on Herms from Konzenshu was tweeting about this as well, and I was mm -hmm. looking at his tweets. Um, the difference between Super and GT is that, like you stated, is that GT, Toriyama had very little influence over, whereas with Super, they are constantly in contact with him. Not to mention that Herms had believed that originally they, they were just adapting Battle of Gods and forgot to know F, but he is writing the universe Six story arc, or he's he, maybe it's already written for all we know, um, and so that's new material for Super that we're gonna get for sure because he said so in the interview. So mm -hmm. 
as there you go. It's just he's he's definitely more involved. He has not been this involved in Dragon Ball ever, like as far as anime goes, ever, like ever. Because remember, he did write the screenplay. Allegedly, I, I have my doubts about that, which I'll get into in another, <laughs> another video. For Fukata no F, so he definitely is more involved now than he has been before. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. So let us know your thoughts on that. And also, I want to know to people watching this video, uh, if you got this far, uh, what do you enjoy more, the anime or the manga? It's probably kind of a stupid question to some people, but if you enjoy the manga or the anime or vice versa, let us know in the comment section below. And any overall thoughts of stuff that we discussed, feel free to drop us a comment and all the good stuff. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like that. Uh, hit that like button right in the face and check out Geek the 101 Emperor Big D linked in the description below because he has some pretty awesome content. So go over there, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as always, you guys enjoy the rest of the day. This has been Geek the 101 and Rhyme Style. And we'll see you guys in the comment section below.